for habit number seven for interesting photos, I thought I'd uh, change scenes a little bit and uh, record in my home office here. Uh, got a little bit more control of light and set up and it's, uh, well, it's a little easier, I think. So we'll see how it goes. Anyway, habit number seven for more interesting photos. Find interesting subjects. Uh, it's amazing how uh, obvious that is, but how sometimes it's easy to forget. Uh, when you have an interesting subject, uh, remember we have the three main ingredients for interesting photos. We have the subject, composition, and light. And if the subject's doing the hard work, if it's interesting by itself, you don't have to do as much work with composition or light. So uh, if you don't have great light, but you have a beautiful and interesting subject, boom. Um, your photo will automatically be pretty interesting. You still have to work a little bit with composition. You can't just uh, point and run away, uh, but it's probably going to be more interesting. So start with an interesting subject. What does that mean? What are interesting subjects? Well, think about all the popular photos uh, on, online on Instagram and uh, things that get lots of likes. Uh, puppies, kittens, uh, faces, um, stuff like that, uh, the typical things that we as human beings find attractive and interesting. Uh, beautiful sceneries and vistas, um, uh, classic buildings and structures, um, sunrises and sunsets. Um, all those things are interesting by themselves and we're excited and want to know more about them. They hold our attention. So again, if you find those things, you don't have to work as hard on the other parts of the photo. Now, for me at least, I think finding interesting photos, can, uh, interesting subjects, excuse me, consistently can be kind of hard. Um, there, there's a lot of them, but also they're kind of rare. Uh, so what makes them interesting in part is that they're not always available. Babies grow up to be, to be kids, and they're still cute and interesting, but they're not as cute as babies, maybe. Uh, puppies grow into dogs that are still cute, but maybe not as interesting. Uh, what makes the subjects interesting oftentimes is the fact that even when they're interesting is a short amount of time, so it's rare and unique as well. Another thing to think about with interesting subjects is sometimes the interesting subjects are very, very popular. So they're, they're common photos, which makes them less interesting. For example, here in the Seattle area, uh, we've got two uh, really well photographed and interesting subjects. One of them is the Space Needle, uh, and there's lots and lots and lots of photos of that very, very interesting subject. And what happens once you see so many, so many, so many photos of the same thing, it just becomes less interesting. So the key with uh, popular and maybe over photographed subjects is to find then an interesting composition or interesting light to make that subject, which is interesting but over popular maybe, make it more interesting. I'll show some examples with the Space Needle that I have. So I'll show a, a photo that uh, is pretty much the typical Space Needle photo that'll come here. And then another photo of the Space Needle on the same day, uh, but from a more interesting perspective. So I worked harder on the composition to make an interesting photo of an interesting subject. Mount Rainier is the same way around here. Uh, lots and lots of photos of Mount Rainier. Um, so unless you find a photo with amazing light, uh, or maybe on an airplane window, to create an element of uniqueness and scarcity, Mount Rainier is an is a, a interesting subject, but it's overpopular. So to make the photos interesting, that holds your attention. You need to add or find an extra layer of interest, maybe in the light, again, sunrise or sunset, or in uh, the composition. Uh, I'll show the picture of the ferry in front of Mount Rainier on an ordinary light day. And those two elements together make for a more interesting photo. Two interesting subjects around here that are both over photographed, uh, so they lose their interest and the ability to hold your attention. But when you combine them, they become more interesting. Uh, a couple more thoughts on interesting subjects. Um, I don't want you to think that the only pictures you can take that are, are kind of easy or, or maybe that you should even be taking are of amazing sunsets and landscapes and, 
iconic uh, type of subjects or babies, puppies, kittens, just those kind of things. Um, if you think about it, if that's all we had pictures of, they would stop becoming interesting pretty quickly because they wouldn't be rare and unique anymore. One of my favorite things to do is to find subjects that are interesting or uh, potentially interesting uh, around uh, places where I go frequently. So uh, there's lots of photos I'll take uh, around campus at Highline. Uh, and there's lots around here in Sammamish where I live. But sometimes the interesting subject needs a little help. Uh, so sometimes it needs atmospheric help, uh, sunrise, sunset, uh, fog, or um, snow. I'll show you an example here of a photo that was taken just um, offside the green belt uh, where we live. Uh, when the snow, it totally transforms it from just an ordinary uh, bunch of trees uh, in the, the Seattle area to uh, a mountainous looking winter, winter landscape. Same thing is true, we have a, a view of the, of the Cascade Mountains uh, from here that uh, when the clouds roll in and we get these dramatic uh, storms, uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, but uh, the thing you have to be careful of when you're taking those pictures is uh, the good viewpoint around here anyway is uh, from a, uh, a shopping center parking lot. So you don't necessarily need to see all the, the fast food places and the, and the cell phone stores uh, when you're taking the photo, you have to kind of be a little careful with the composition. And then lastly, there's a there's a tree, uh, this lone tree in uh, the Sammamish, uh, just in the view from the Sammamish City Hall Commons area. And uh, a lot of times when the sun set, it's just amazing. This tree kind of becomes this lone little outpost uh, here. And, it, and it's a neat element that I've included in a lot of photos. But at sunset, it, it transforms and it's different. It's just this neat silhouette. Even during the day, it's kind of cool with some dramatic clouds. But again, the thing you have to pay attention to with these subjects that are, are relatively interesting is to uh, make sure that your composition is on point. And in the case of this lone tree, that you're, you're not showing the parking lot full of police cars right below. So um, with interesting subjects, they're all around. Part of it is, is, is habit number one, seeing differently, seeing things as a photographer and seeing the potential in a subject once you add maybe just a little more interesting light and or a little more interesting composition to make that subject really interesting. They're all around. You just got to find them. So that's um, habit number seven, interesting subjects.